the first one. Hey everyone, we're live at five. I was gonna, originally I thought maybe I would play an overture for each one of these, but then yesterday I played the Honeymoon in Vegas overture and it made the video be blocked on YouTube. So I'm not gonna play overtures. We don't own that music. So, uh, hi everyone, how you doing? We're gonna, uh, lady is very busy. I, I'm Imogen out. Lloyd Webber. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah. Imogen has to leave us because it's a big Broadway opening. It is a big Broadway opening. Hand to God is opening. It's the very naughty puppet show. I have my uh, Kermit ring. I thought this in might honor, get... In honor of the puppet. I thought this might get better, like, you know, interviews on the red carpet. Right. Um, I'm the My pot poll tonight is asking very important celebrities such as John Hamm uh, which puppet they'd like to have dirty puppet sex with. Out, out of like any puppet, any puppet ever. Who would you with? And what, so is, what would be your that's answer? That's what the office has Do decided an to time us. Well, Kermit, clearly. Kermit, Kermit's sexy to you. Well, you guys look good together. We look good. I look good. I look good with green. Like you know, I, I, you know. I've always wanted to be Miss Piggy. She's got great attitude. <laughs> so on that note, I'm going to the. This is going to be a big opening. This is like a big yeah, hot, a hot play, hot play. play. A lot of celebs. A lot of celebrities. Um, so normally a Bart's Megan Hilty. If she's there, I'm going to ask her about Bombshell. Uh huh. Um, so yeah, you know, we're obviously you know, looking forward to this. Somebody one. just wrote that they would not have sex with Big Bird. Um. Do you want to have sex? I don't want to have sex with Big Bird. I'll ask. We'll see who wants to have sex with Big Bird. We'll see who answers the question. I have a feeling that I, you know they might then just leave and walk off and stop And uh, somebody else just said Kermit is from Mississippi, y'all. Oh, really? Uh, I didn't uh, know that. Are you sure about that? Is that, a, is that a proven fact? I don't, I don't know. All right, well, Imogen, you have fun. Thanks for that. You have fun. That. You look lovely and blue. Thank you. All right. Bye. All right, everyone. Look for that video tomorrow. Um, Ryan McPhee, what are you what are you up to? What are you up to? Well No obituaries today. No obituaries. Thank, thank God. You. Um while you were talking to Sutton Foster downstairs. Oh downstairs yes, Sutton Foster came by uh, today. Yes. I was watching episode three of Younger, which is premiering tonight. We get to watch them ahead of time. Um uh, yeah, ahead of the recap which will go up later tonight. Uh, I've been gifting some crazy moments from it. It's a very insane episode. You see lots of skin. Uh, lots of it's building up to for sex. certain body parts. Yeah, there's a lot of potential yeah, sex very about sexy. to happen. Mm -hmm. I can um, show you a couple moments if you want, like really quick teasers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, and, you, and we, what we've been doing is we've been like making fun uh, Sutton Foster uh, gifs, gifs. I say gifs, 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 gifs. gifs. No. Let's call the whole thing off, etc. Um, Somebody just said the Wild Party should be on Broadway. Maybe it will be because you know Sutton Foster did Violet at the City Center off. What's it called? Off on Center? Place. Off Broadway? Oh, the, that series. She did Violet and that went to Broadway. So maybe Wild Party will go to Broadway. So uh, why don't you show us like one of these Sutton Foster? Because okay, sure. I love a, oh, you, I know you're impressed with. Uh, well, here's oh. how. Yeah, look at oh. that. Okay. Boom. Oh, get ready, people, because the robe is coming off tonight on Younger, 10, 10 p.m. On TV. Somebody just asked, what's the best part about working at Broadway.com, Ryan? Oh, I mean the people. Everyone's so funny. Everyone loves uh, Broadway. We all share that in common. Um, right. And just being able to talk about everything that we see, everything we're interested in, right. and to share that, it's really fun. Yeah, right. we love it. We love Broadway. Just Nick, Nick Chakra is off with Imogen, off the red carpet. Hi ho, the glamorous Hi. life. Glamorous life. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. What are you up to, Hoots? What are you doing? I'm just drinking with your from Broadway.com uh, oh, yeah. canteen. Okay. Yep. And I just finished editing Sierra uh, Boggess' latest vlog. Uh oh. We got some she's dressed Sierra like a bunny. Boggess vlogging. Dressed happening. like a bunny here. Oh, there's some Sierra Boggess vlogging. Do you guys mm -hmm. like Sierra's vlogs? I do. Who doesn't love that I like vlog? It. I mean, she's sort of like an A plus vlogger. I love it. And we are like, we're a vlog heavy here right now. Right. We got, uh, Sierra's vlog. Uh, we had Kelsey Grammer on Laura Michelle Kelly's vlog. Oh yeah, and we've got uh, Jason Biggs vlog. And you're really excited about Jason Biggs, aren't you? Yes, very pumped about the scoop. Yeah, the scoop, and that's going to premiere what on Thursday? Premieres Thursday. Yeah, I edited Thursday. tomorrow. All right. So if anyone wants to bring me snacks tomorrow while I edit it, I uh, <laughs> joyfully right. receive those snacks. Very good. Thank you for sharing, Joanne. What are you up to? I'm watching. Um, I, I know you're watching. I'm probably on like Broadway, like Periscope. We know, everybody knows we do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody knows we do that now. <laughs> oh, you have a Wolf Hall flavor. Yeah, you know? I haven't seen it yet. I was updating the show page. Oh, you just okay. to make sure that everybody I hear it's really important long. on there was on there. 
Yeah. I hear it's super long. I heard it. So, uh, anything exciting you today about um, life at Broadway.com? I'm excited about the Speed the Plow movie that apparently. Oh, yeah, they're going to make a movie of that. I'm very excited to see who they're going to cast it. Why in. are you excited about that? You like that plot? Well, I like the production with Norbert and Raul. That's just because you like Norbert and Raul. Yeah, it, that's possible. But <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, I like maybe. I don't think they'll be in the movie, but maybe. I think so. I'm excited to see who it's going to be, though. Oh, so, okay. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. And maybe, uh, maybe Madonna can still play that role. It's possible. Maybe not. She, she had Maybe. enough face work done. Elizabeth Moss, she did it. She did it. That's Lindsay, what I saw. Lindsay Lohan did it. A lot of people Moss. played that role. Yes. Felicity Huffman, I think. Felicity, yeah, I think back in oh, the day. I think she was the original, wasn't she? Uh, somebody said, "Oh, how about that?" Man throws question to Joanne. What musical would you love to see based on a movie you love? Me. Hmm. I want to see a musical. Off the top of my head, I'll just say Empire Records. Empire oh, Records. Yeah. Wait, well, you you yeah. were a big you were a big High Fidelity fan. I was. I did that love High Fidelity. That was very Empire Records ish. Yes, a very similar set. They could probably use. So, who should write the, the score? Set. Uh, oh, I have no idea. This David Yazbek, get on it, get on it, Yazbek. That would work. Oh, uh, uh, Alex is editing oh, some um, some cord cot still. We got Kurt Tott and his suit. This, this show people episode coming out. Yeah. Coming out. That's gonna be good. Hey Ryan, what are you doing? Hi. Well, I just came across from across the street. Yeah, Ryan doesn't actually sit here. No. He doesn't sit in this room, but he joins us. Um, well, as I cover all of the national tours we have, and we right. have so many launching this year. Like a gentleman's guide is going out on tour. Oh, is Beautiful it? is going out on tour. Oh, okay, Cabaret is going out on tour. Uh, the Bridges of Madison County is going out That's on tour. Be good. I can't wait for that. Is that one of your so, cry shows? It, I mean, is it a, it's a cry show for everybody, right? <laughs> yeah. So I'm excited about those, and I'm just getting ready to launch all of those tours. So cool. that's exciting. You're, oh, you, you, he personally I, I launched the tours. He's personally yes. launching yes. all the tours. But mostly I was fangirling out because it's the 20th anniversary of a Goofy movie. And who doesn't love a Goofy movie, right? Exactly. So all right. that's why I've been watching all of the YouTube clips all day of that. So. Good, good. The hearts are flooding. Right now. <laughs> I, still, I still don't know what that means, but thanks for hitting the heart. What are you up to, Hubbard? Oh, just looking at pictures of Paul. Look at look at this. You got him pulled up oh. <laughs> twice. And you're editing. Wow, it's looking sharp. You're editing the Broadway.com show. No, I'm just looking at pictures of Paul. Thank That's you. what I do all day. I appreciate that. Good to, uh, Swag. Good to see. Oh, look, there's Darren Chris. He's still there. Uh, who else? Uh, Beth. I got Beth Stevens. Hello. Still standing. She's still, still standing. standing. After all this time, uh, yes. what do you, oh look, look what you're doing. This is actually tied in with yesterday. Anyone who was watching yesterday, she was talking about doing a piece. Who's that? Go to Pietro. Guy. Oh my God, I love this photo so much. Isn't it great? That's Rocco, his pug. The is this up on the site yet? No, this is sneak peek. <gasps> sneak peek. And you know the cool thing? See, this is his handwriting, and this is actually. Oh yeah. But I ask them to write stuff for me. Yeah, so when Beth does these interviews with playwrights and she asks them to like, this is like his favorite line, right? His favorite line. So How it? much longer can I play the young tragic virgin? 10, maybe 20 years? Renee Fleming gets to say that. I'm sure she'll say it better than I could possibly. Grace, I saw you in Times Square too and my hair's... Okay, wait, so hold on. No one hurt his hair. Uh, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. So, uh, yeah, I have tall, I have tall, tall hair. So um, I wore a tie today for Sutton Foster, That's as I you do. Wore, I wore my glasses today because as I went to the theater. I went to a Tuesday matinee. Okay, wait. Beth did go. She she skipped out of the office. It's a park. For, but it's part of um, it's part of her job. Do you want me to sit? I have to sit. Yes, yeah, sit. Oh, Look, people, you have a chair. I do know how to sit. So Beth went and saw it. What did you see today? I saw the Spring Spectacular at Radio City Music Hall. Starring Laura Benanti. Starring Laura Benanti, who was fabulous. Yeah. Laura, shout out to Laura. And I've never been to Radio City Music Hall. <laughs> that, that is so cool. I Wait, I forgot. Going. Was it, was, isn't it? It was epic. amazing. And I took my two kids. Uh -huh. and they were like, How old are your kids? They're seven and four. And Very they cute. thought that was the biggest room they've ever been in. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's the biggest room I've ever it been in. It's a big room. Yeah, I stood on the red carpet outside a lot. Even though you have no, like, it actually exceed your expectations of it, right? When you walk in there, it's like shocking. It took my breath away. It really did. Took her breath away. Mm -hmm. She's pretty and jaded. And the Rockettes made me a little... No, wait. Bad. Not even for the Tonys, no. Jeffrey, because... This is how... This is a secret. We work on Tony night. I stand on the red carpet. I don't have seven kids. No, I've got... Two. Two kids. Two four cute kids. and seven. Oh, wait. Let me show you my kids. Wait. <laughs> Hey, it's a picture by Kate. Somebody said the key Laura demo is four and seven. Is that, is, is that true? Is that really, a fact? Is that a fact? But you know what? 
the only real big belly laugh was my son laughing at a line she said about the Rockettes putting their pants on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Here are my kids. That okay, this is a very cute. Photo by Caitlin McNaney of Broadway.com. Yeah, photo editor Caitlin McNaney. Oh, and by the way, uh, Lindsay and Caitlin aren't here because they're up at King and I doing a, a feature with some people up there. Some people, some secret people. Uh, somebody asked, is Tony Night the busiest night for Broadway.com? It's yes. pretty busy. Yeah, okay, sure. What do you mean? It Why is are you the like it's not? We have a lot of busy nights. Yes, yes, yes. My kids yes. are cute, aren't they? Kids are yes. really cute. So we stand on the red carpet at the Tonys. I've done that a gazillion times. And then sometimes we go to the press room, which is not at Radio City. No, it's like across it's a the street. It's a different building. It, it moves all the time. But usually we just come back to the office and take off all the finery and get back to the computer. And eat pizza. Yeah. Last year we went to some parties. We did. We got dressed up and kept the, yeah. I kept the eyeliner on for that. Sometimes, uh, I saw uh, Clinton the musical. Which was... Was it like it, the Spring Spectacular or different? Well, it was different. It was a smaller theater, but it was it was stupid. It was intentionally very stupid, and I appreciate it. And Carrie Butler is hilarious. And uh, Duke LaFoon, you ever heard of Duke LaFoon? I don't know that person. Oh, my God. He has a crazy name, and he's hilarious. He plays, like, there's two guys playing Bill Clinton, and one of them's, like, the whore. One of them's, like, the hoary Bill Clinton, and then one's, like, the good guy. Hoary, not Harry. Hoary. He might have been Harry, but he that was him. He was the hoary one. I liked him. He was funny. He was very funny. Um, it's, yeah, you guys are right. We should go to the Tonys, but they don't invite us. Literally, they don't invite right. us. But I mean, when some... we win a Tony someday. <laughs> so oh, speaking of, Tony. speaking of somebody we know, Adrian Brian Brown was just uh, mentioned. He was it he's was announced today. He's honor. getting a special Tony. Tony honor. He's a big Broadway publicist. And his wife won one last year. Joan yeah, Marcus, Marcus, who shoots like most of the photos that you love of Broadway shows. Yeah, and so they they're like a Tony winning couple now. That's crazy. I mean, that's a crazy, like, how many they couples... They're going to lure that over everyone. How many couples are both... To yeah, right? That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know how many couples are both Tony winners. Speaking of Look photos, I don't think she shot them, but the King and I photos just came out. Gorgeous. Those are... Oh, my God. Gorgeous. And normally we get, like, five or six photos for a Broadway show, and they sent us, like, 894. <laughs> and they're all available on Broadway.com. Uh, what stage actor, actress unknown should we watch out for? That's a good question. Wow. Hmm. They're Who's, all known on Broadway.com. Is there someone recently? That's true. We know people sometimes before you do. But who have we seen? Duke LaFoon. Have I mentioned LaFoon, him? Le Duke LaFoon. He's pretty good. Duke LaFoon's getting a lot of play today. Duke LaFoon. <laughs> uh, oh, so Sutton Foster came. Sutton Foster came today. A, Kelly, a photo of Kelly as a hobo would still be gorgeous. Marshall, I think you're right. She was kind of a hobo in nice work. Uh, what you, did you study? I studied journalism in college. Beth, what did you study? I studied dramatic writing. I was a playwright, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is why I love interviewing these playwrights. That's the fun. That's really why. Fun she, that's why I created this feature and yeah. took photos of them with their dogs. So um, <laughs> Sutton Foster came in today for Show People, which will be up not till next week. Now you're finding out guests ahead of time. But I love Younger. I watched the whole season. Because, I did too. I binge watched it. Yeah, we get them or we got them early, and they're, it's so much fun. I, it's the fourth show, people, for Sutton Foster. She's a record holder. She's also the, would be the record holder at three, but now she has now <laughs> she's four, and I'm sure it'll go up to seven. Um, and uh, uh, I just want to say, she hinted that she might have a new Broadway show. Not, not, not no, not, not about the wild. She's doing the wild party this summer, but a different. She hinted that there might be a new. Wow, that's, Broadway that's show. a scoop. So, like you have no more information. Yeah, it's not so much of a scoop. That just that things. she's going to do another show. We could probably say that any time. Sutton is your queen. Sutton is everyone's queen. Yes, yeah, Sutton is the person who's been on Triple the most, four times. Because Sutton's career and Broadway.com kind of blossomed at the same time. Totally. Yeah, we met her really. Yeah, totally. We met her one year into the Broadway.com situation. Yeah, but she's younger than us. Hey, you don't have to say that. <laughs> she was playing a 26-year-old, though. Oh, and, uh, and uh, Corey Cott sent me some hilarious photographs today that you're going to want to watch in the Show People episode, which will go up on Thursday. They are some historic photos of him he's as a fanboy. And he's such a nice guy, isn't he? Oh, my God, he's awesome. I agree that – are you saying Sutton's going to play Gypsy? I, I literally, What did I say to you this morning, Ben? You said – I said, what could she play next? This is literally what we talked about this morning. Literally. And he said Gypsy is just going to happen. She's going to be Mama Rose. I said it's a done deal. She's definitely going to play Mama Rose. There's yeah. no way. And you said Casey Nicola would do <laughs> And I assume Casey Nicola will, will we, choreograph. This is not and, news. This is just us talking. Yeah. But like in 12 years. Well, Mama Rose, I mean, she honestly. She has an age. Sutton's 40 now. Mama Rose is supposed to be in her 40s. But Sutton looks 26. That's why she's on a TV show. 
called Younger. <laughs> Our favorite it, shows we've seen ooh, recently. Let's do the recently. That's a good recently. way to do it. So, well, so I'm seeing something rotten tonight, I'm and really I, I we that. saw a reading of it, but we, I haven't seen the finished production. But I know it's amazing. Sutton, Sutton can do a vlog anytime she wants. Yeah, Sutton, you can do whatever you want. She's our queen. Favorite uh, person you've interviewed? I can't that's answer his favorite person that. I've ever interviewed on show people. That's too hard. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. But Corey Cott was a hell of a lot of fun. He was he was really fun. So I'm excited for you guys to see that one. Uh, anything else you're dying to know? Beth, anything you saw recently you liked? I love Skylight. I love the Heidi Chronicles. Oh, my God, talked, me too. And we talked about Jason Biggs. We yep. did our vlog. Really excited about that. Yeah. Those are the plays I've liked recently. I'm seeing six shows this week. Yeah, the next, the, in the next two weeks, in the next, like, 16 days, a lot of shows open. Yeah. So and like then it's the deadline the before 20s. the Tonys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A nine-to-five revival with Sutton as all three. Well, that sounds like a good 54 Below act. I don't know about <laughs> a Broadway show. Patty Lapone will return to show people. I can't wait. What? How awesome is it to interview Aaron Tave? He is the nicest. He's, He's so a nice funny. guy. He's very comfortable with us. Mm -hmm. Especially you. I don't interview him. I just mm -hmm. say hi. And he has good hair. He has good hair. There's always a hair moment between you two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Grooming is important. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Who do we want to host the Tonys? Oh, we already know who's going to host the Tonys. We know. We figured it out. We figured it out. It's not confirmed. We don't. Do you want to hear? Should we hear tell them? We think. Should we tell them? I don't know. Imogen. Imogen is pretty. No, I'm not going to tell you. Yeah, I'm sorry. Mm -mm. We'll find. I'll tell you. Who do you think will host the Tonys? Four people are the nicest. I didn't say four people are the nicest. I told you I'm not picking. Who are our dream? My our dream Tong host, which I assume Tony. means Tony. Tony host. We're editing editors. We're editors. Who's? I don't have a dream Tony host. Someone just funny. I like funny people. I thought Neil did a great job. Patrick Harris. Is yeah. that what you're talking about? He's first name he's basis. Neil. Neil. Who else hey, is guess who I'm going to see tomorrow morning? Darren Chris. That's going to be exciting. Uh, I sound like Anthony Hagardi. I don't know who that is. Cool. Good. Nice to uh, nice to know. Nice to know that. <laughs> uh, so we have to. We're going to go. Because I'm sure you, we're boring you a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we're not very interested. And we have work to do. Mm -hmm. But uh, please uh, check back every month. We're going to do this every day, 5 o'clock, unless you guys hate it. But, you know, make sure you uh, follow us on Periscope. It's kind of cool, uh -huh. right? And we're going to keep bringing you, like, surprise moments with different stars. And we'll keep uh, teasing uh, I appreciate that. that. We'll the Tonys, Becca Roni. Becca Roni, I appreciate that. She, doesn't, she said we're never boring. That's not true. <laughs> so we'll see you every day at 5 o'clock. All right. Bye, Bye guys.